With a range of 5,000 kilometers covering the entire Chinese mainland, India's successful test launch of the Agni-5 intercontinental ballistic missile raises a critical question, can China's HQ-19 anti-ballistic missile system effectively intercept it? This is not merely a hot topic among military enthusiasts but a real-world issue concerning national strategic defense capabilities. In fact, answering this question requires more than examining missile range or individual interceptor parameters. It demands a deep analysis from the perspective of system-on-system -system confrontation, the entire missile defense system, encompassing early warning capabilities, intercept layers, command and control systems, and even electronic warfare soft kill measures. Is the true determinant of interception success? In modern warfare, the confrontation between individual weapons has long given way to the clash between systems. Any discussion of equipment performance detached from its supporting system is incomplete. On August 20, India announced the successful test launch of its multi-warhead, Agni-5 missile at the Chandapur missile test range in Odisha. Its reported range exceeds 5,000 kilometers, covering most of China. On paper, this three-stage solid fuel missile boasts a circular error probability of just 10 to 20 meters aided by a ring laser gyro inertial guidance system and corrections from India's regional navigation satellite system. It can achieve ray entry speeds of Mach 24 and is even claimed to strike 3 to 10 targets simultaneously using multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle technology. Yet behind the hype lie significant controversies, actual test launches have been questioned for video fabrication, fuel technology is outdated, and the launch vehicle uses a civilian truck chassis raising concerns about mountainous terrain mobility. Its multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle capability remains unproven. The August 2025 launch still employed a single warhead, casting doubt on overall reliability. More critically, India's current regional navigation system suffers from limited coverage and accuracy, making its guidance susceptible to interference in complex battlefield environments. Additionally, the aerodynamic design of the re-entry vehicle has not undergone sufficient validation under high speed, High thermal load conditions. These factors directly undermine the missile's actual penetration capabilities. Historically, India's ballistic missile program has evolved over decades, achieving some progress while retaining significant shortcomings in reliability, system integration, and operational capability. Notably, its solid propellant formulations lag behind, resulting in inferior thrust to weight ratios and energy management efficiency compared to advanced designs, directly limiting effective range and payload capacity. Furthermore, the mobility of launch vehicles modified from civilian trucks on mountainous terrain is genuinely concerning. This not only compromises survivability during combat but also limits the missile's rapid response and deployment flexibility. Facing this emerging yet uncertain strategic threat, China is far from unprepared. It has long established a multi-tiered, comprehensive missile defense system. In multiple publicly reported land-based mid-course intercept tests, China has demonstrated formidable interception capabilities, with the HQ-19 standing out as a core component of this system. Though specific parameters remain undisclosed, analyses generally suggest it can perform both mid-course and terminal intercepts, with a maximum interception altitude estimated at hundreds of kilometers. It is characterized by strong adaptability, and exceptional resistance to saturation attacks. Unlike purely high-altitude interceptors, the HQ-19 is designed for operational flexibility, both inside and outside the atmosphere. Its kinetic kill vehicle features high-precision terminal guidance, capable of destroying targets through direct collision. This, bullet-on-bullet, -bullet technology represents the pinnacle of missile defense capability. The HQ-19 system's active phased array radar boasts formidable multi-target tracking capabilities, simultaneously monitoring hundreds of aerial targets while guiding multiple interceptors to engage. This capability proves particularly critical when confronting multiple warhead attacks. However, it must be recognized that missile defense is a comprehensive system engineering endeavor, not a confrontation between individual weapons. China's missile defense network does not rely solely on the HQ-19, but has instead established a multi-layered interception system, comprising the HQ-9B, HQ-22, and even next-generation directed energy weapons. This system covers the entire airspace spectrum, from low to high altitudes and from short to long ranges. At the strategic early warning level, China has deployed multiple types of long-range early warning radars, including P-band over-the-horizon radars and X-band precision tracking and identification radars. These radars, together with the space-based infrared early warning satellite network, Forma, Sky Eye, system that begins operating from the missile's boost phase. It can detect the exhaust plume immediately after launch, 
and make a preliminary determination of the impact point, providing valuable early warning time for subsequent interception. Although publicly available information on China's space-based infrared early warning system is limited, it is certain that it possesses early warning capabilities for ballistic missile launches, serving as the first line of defense in modern missile defense systems, specifically targeting medium-range ballistic missiles like the Agni-5. China's missile defense system can execute layered intercepts, according to the missile's flight phases. During the ascent phase, though the intercept window is narrow and requires forward deployment, the space-based monitoring system can track its initial trajectory in real time. During the mid-course phase, when the missile travels outside the atmosphere, mid-course interceptors like the HQ-19 play a critical role. This stage offers stable trajectories and strong predictability making it ideal for interception. China has conducted multiple successful mid-course tests, validating its technological maturity. Once the warhead enters the re-entry phase, despite its short flight time and high velocity, China possesses systems like the HQ-9B and even the latest kinetic interceptors to execute terminal phase interception, creating multiple layers of defense. Notably, China's missile defense systems prioritize resistance to saturation attacks and countermeasures. Modern ballistic missile assaults often employ decoys, chaff, and other penetration tactics. Breakthroughs in target identification by China's phased array radar systems and interceptor guidance heads enable effective discrimination between real and false targets, ensuring interception efficiency. Additionally, China is developing new concept anti-missile technologies like laser and microwave weapons. These directed energy systems engage targets at the speed of light, drastically reducing intercept response times and serving as crucial complements to traditional kinetic interceptors. On the other hand, while India's Agni-5 missile possesses sufficient range, its technological maturity and system support capabilities remain notably deficient. For instance, its multiple independently targetable reentry vehicle technology has yet to undergo operational verification, with the 2025 test launch still conducted using a single warhead configuration. This indicates its limited ability to achieve true saturation attack capabilities in the near term. The Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System it relies on lags behind global top-tier systems in coverage and anti-jamming capabilities potentially reducing guidance accuracy in complex electromagnetic environments. Additionally, the missile's launch vehicle suffers from insufficient mobility, making it vulnerable to preemptive strikes during wartime. These factors significantly diminish its actual deterrent effectiveness. Notably, India has yet to establish a comprehensive space-based early warning system, meaning its missile forces lack real-time, reliable launch command and target information support further limiting the reliability of its strategic strike capabilities. From a system-on-system -system perspective, India's strategic strike system remains in its developmental phase, lagging behind China's already established integrated missile defense system. Overall, China's missile defense system has evolved over years into a complete operational chain integrating early warning, tracking, command, interception, and assessment. China does not rely on a single weapon, but counters threats through integrated system operations. Technologically, the HQ-19 interceptor system is indeed capable of intercepting missiles like the Agni-5, but greater confidence stems from the maturity and coordinated operational effectiveness of China's entire missile defense system.